through the floor. Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm and we are back on the Old Bird Farm after about a week away, two weeks away uh, from the farm. Had my first vacation in two years, which is really nice. Go check out my other channel, Sidestep Adventures. Posted uh, some cool adventures over there, but we're back at the farm and it is officially winter here. Um, now it's still Georgia winter, so I'm still, you know, in short sleeves at the moment, but it's fixing to get cold. It's actually pretty chilly out today, but again, Georgia winter. So I got some heat going in the house. I just picked up this propane tank with the little attachment up there. Now, you know, word of advice, don't do as I do, dangerous, fire hazard. Uh, don't burn that sort of thing inside a sealed house. Of course, as we know, this house ain't no kind of sealed, so we ain't got to worry about all the toxic fumes or burning up all the oxygen, that sort of thing. But anyway, got some heat going in here, so it's actually pretty warm inside of the house, which is really very nice. I'm sure it's also good to have some kind of heat and uh, some drying going on in here too. Keep chasing the moisture on out of this place. Anyway, um, we're gonna be inside of the house today doing a little bit. Um, obviously, we didn't do Christmas here at the Old Bird Farm this year like we did last year, partly because Christmas is coming up real soon and uh, I ran out of time to do anything for Christmas. But there is one thing that I found that's pretty neat. We're also going to be working on just clearing out this room a little bit more, filling up some trash cans, even though I missed trash day today. Let me show you what I found. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you already know the story of why there's so much clutter and junk in here, and I'm slowly sifting through it all. If you haven't been watching the channel for a while, I recommend you check back on some previous videos, and uh, you, then you'll learn why. Anyway, I found this today. Ah, look at that. That goes to our mantelpiece here. And it goes right there. I was really hoping I would find that um, in here to go back on that because I think that was pretty much, let me look at it, that was pretty much the only thing that was broken off of our gorgeous mantelpiece here. And we did find it. it looks like somebody tried to glue it back at one time or another and it didn't stick. But we've got it, so hopefully can fix it the right way. No, this is some kind of stone material. I don't know if you can hear the hear the sound of it there. Some kind of stone material um, that this fireplace is made out of. Um, also got our future flooring right here in front of it. But also, when I was clearing off some space for our heater here, I found this cute little Christmas village right here. So, you know, the Old Bird Farm provides, as always, so I figured that we would do something fun and festive for the holidays and clean off the mantelpiece here and set up a little Christmas village on it. So I need to find some stuff to, uh, you know, clean with and uh, do that. So let's do it. All right, so I'd really like to clean the mantelpiece off. I've got some rags and stuff to wipe it down with and remove our little model house that I found in here a while back out of the way in our Old Bird Horn savings account. Get the cool little horses that are up here. Oh, those are those are pretty neat. Might have to use those in our makeshift Christmas time village here on the farm. Seashell. Lead. Save the little cute cop and the little baby elephant for later. Old letters and whatnot. Set those to the side. Got an old insulator, which is cool, but you know, I don't think we want to really want to display that proudly on the mantle. Another insulator. This one's actually broken. These are super common, so I'm just going to toss that one in the trash. I don't know what kind of, I don't know what kind of witchcraft this is here. That little, little corn, little corn doll there, corn husk doll. It's actually kind of cute, kind of, 
kind of cute. Looks like something may have come from, I don't know, old Westville or something like that. Anyway, get the stuff off of here. And we can take these microfiber tiles and hopefully wipe this down. Um, now this is a stone metal piece, so I'm not exactly sure what we should really be using to clean this with, to clean it properly. Um, so I'm going to go the, uh, you know, the not the great way route, just throw some Windex on it. That's not what we should be using, I'm sure. Someone will yell at me in the comments for using that, but it'll work a little bit for bringing some of this color back out. And actually, it's bringing more out than I thought it would. There's a lot of buildup. There's something stuck on right there, but there's a lot of buildup on this mantelpiece. And I'm actually getting impressed myself right now because there's there's a lot of color coming out of this stone. I'm going to bring you over here and let you take a look. I did not know that looked like that <laughs> under under all the dust. That's beautiful. So this thing's definitely going to look gorgeous all cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and throw you guys on time lapse so I can get this taken care of real quick. And... Uh, I'm actually excited to see what it looks like now. Actually super impressed with how this turned out. I mean it still needs a more of a proper cleaning and probably some kind of polishing but good night this looks good. Um, you know, we really brought out some colorations. There's unfortunately something stuck to it pretty fiercely over here. Um, it'll have to be scrubbed off. And like I said it probably needs some kind of stone polish or something on it. Um, it would probably be better to use a stone cleaner on it. But uh, some of the coloration and staining um, that was done on this, you can see in the finish, is just absolutely incredible. And I really didn't think um, it was going to come out like that with the different details it has. It's got some discoloration right here. Um, and some more stuff stuck to it right there. So it needs some more work over time, but I mean, for, you know, abandoned, neglected, in the farmhouse for so long for it to look like this now and this mirror cleaned up as good as it did i love it i'm impressed now if we could just get the rest of this room looking this good we'd really be in business but this is cool um, so we're going to put our little christmas village up here you know we're going to do something for christmas in the old bird farm it'd be a good little dusting off i think one of these you could stick a candle in Move these over just a little bit. There we go. We want to put our Christmas tree there. Got a really mini Christmas tree right here. Hey, you know, it may need total restoration, but 
little things we can do to make a place feel homey. It's not so bad. I don't think at least. Look at the little guy fishing there. Where is he going to be? He's going to be just fishing in the middle of Main Street. A nice little snowed in front gate right there. We can't have them fishing in the middle of Main Street, but you know, there is a lighthouse there, so I have to have them fishing at the lighthouse. There we go. <laughs> like much but we definitely got some more uh, cleared here I'm also gonna put this Christmas card I received from a viewer on the uh, mantel piece here just move this mantel piece we've also still got our Christmas troll or our uh, our winter troll right there that we'll put up there and if we treat them really good we'll look after the hall if we treat them poorly then they'll come in here and you know like tear stuff up so I'm hoping we treat it really good and come in here and clean when I'm not here. And before we go, let me show you this really cool trick that this floor does. Oh, through the floor. Okay, actually that was a stage fall. I knew it was really weak right there. <laughs> but I just wanted to do that on camera. Um, anyway, that note, we're ending this video. See you next time.